people, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and Black Ops 6 has basically been revealed at this point. From a gameplay perspective, anyway, we've seen so much of it in recent days, so much so that Call of Duty themselves have just now put out a tweet saying that Intel in the field only scratches the surface. Obviously, that's in reference to the leaks that have been coming out. Get the full debrief and see Black Ops 6 gameplay live from Call of Duty next on August 28th at 12 p.m. Eastern. This is definitely in reference to all the leaks that have been coming out over the course of the past couple of days, and I've got to say it's been kind of refreshing to see leaks that aren't just, you know, cryptic tweets or things like that. We're seeing straight up gameplay. We're getting a feel for what Black Ops 6 is going to be like, and it looks like the build of Black Ops 6 that we're seeing is actually going to be the beta build. Now, according to what I'm reading online over on Charlie Intel, it looks like it was a build of Black Ops 6 that was uploaded to the PlayStation Network database, which allowed people to access it if they had a jailbroken PS4. Apparently, that build is going to be the beta build, which explains the limited attachments, the limited number of guns, as well as the limited number of maps that were available in the footage that we have seen so far. If you guys haven't seen the Black Ops 6 gameplay, I mean, it's a simple Google away. Obviously, I can't show it. They're going to take my video down like they try to take down Blame Truce. But after having watched a lot of the footage, movement does seem pretty crazy in the game. Like, omnidirectional movement obviously is going to be a big change for Call of Duty fans. It's going to make the game fundamentally feel a lot different. And I will say that sliding and maneuvering around the map looks incredibly fluid and fast compared to what we've seen in recent years. Like, for example, everyone thought the Modern Warfare 3 movement was such an improvement over Modern Warfare 2. Well, Black Ops 6 looks faster than Modern Warfare 3. It straight up does, which may make it more of a sweaty game, but it's definitely going to create a bit of a skill gap in between the player base. But it doesn't matter because skill based matchmaking is there anyway. So if you're not good with the movement, you're probably not going to play in lobbies where people do have the movement. It's just skill based matchmaking. It's at the forefront of absolutely everything. But aside from that, I've seen a lot of people saying that Black Ops 6 basically just looks like Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare had a baby, which I kind of agree with that. Now, keep in mind, all the footage we've seen so far is on a jailbreak broken PS4, right? So therefore, the graphics are going to be terrible. We're talking like the lowest possible quality. Last gen builds are going to look a lot worse than, say, a Series X or a PS5 or even somebody's gaming PC. But that being said, aesthetically, not talking about like the graphics, but like just straight up like aesthetically, like the theme of the game, it does look a lot like Black Ops Cold War, but it does have some of those modern warfare elements, which I think is by design. They did announce years ago that all of the different Call of Duty developers and studios were going to be working closer together in an effort to make the games more streamlined and unified, which in some ways is good. So therefore, if we have like a good feature in one game, that should be carrying over into the next game. But at the same time, you lose a lot of that heart and soul that made Call of Duty feel so unique back in the day. Of course, recently we had the news that Activision have freaking been selling AI bundles in the Modern Warfare 3 shop. So right there, you could argue that the heart and soul of the games are even stripped away entirely. But really, when you go back to like World at War, for example, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, those three games, not only theme wise, but just everything about them was so different, has such a unique feeling as compared to what we saw in games like Advanced Warfare, for example, or Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Ghost. You know, Treyarch games felt back in the day and looked and just had this different vibe than Infinity Board games and vice versa. And having that variety in between each year felt incredible, honestly, like having a Modern Warfare game, then jumping to a Black Ops game, then going back to Modern Warfare, then going back to Black Ops, having that variety there was nice. They didn't feel like you were playing the same game year after year. People back then, of course, always said it was the same game, but it didn't matter. They felt fundamentally different. There's a whole different feeling and atmosphere and vibe that you got from each title because the developers were responsible for their own work as compared to everybody always working on everything all of the time. What we see with Black Ops 6 is a bit of that Treyarch charm. Like it does kind of look and kind of like vibe like a Black Ops game, but you can't help but just when you look at the menus, when you look at the UI, when you look at some of the gameplay elements, you can't help but feel like, yeah, this is like you definitely see the inspiration from like Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 and some of the stuff that Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer I've been doing. It's not uniquely a Treyarch game, it's a Call of Duty game, which I think is turning off a lot of people right now. On top of the omnidirectional movement and the aesthetic of the game, however, there's also going to be a number of things that are a bit controversial that we've seen from the footage. Like, for example, Domination no longer just has flags, they have zones with a larger capture radius, which is similar to how Domination works in X-Defiant, if you've been playing that. It's kind of similar, right? Where instead of having like a straight up flag, like a small circular flag, it's more like a zone that you have to capture in Domination, which feels a little bit weird. They're bringing back the winner's circle right from Black Ops 3. You guys remember that? They're going to show the top three players on the winning team. They're showing the best play at the end of the match as compared to the final kill, which is something I'm not really a big fan of. The scoreboard is going to be pretty similar to the Black Ops 4 scoreboard in that it does not show deaths, but you can scroll over somebody's name to see how many deaths that they have. They're bringing back emotes in the spray wheel. And from all of this, like from the recent footage that we've seen that's been coming out over the course of today and yesterday, you kind of see how they're kind of taking all these like ideas from different Black Ops games 
and some modern warfare games and kind of like homogenizing them all within Black Ops 6. I suppose my biggest worry is will the game actually feel like a proper Black Ops game or is it going to feel a lot more like a modern warfare game with a Black Ops coat of paint? Is it going to feel like Black Ops Cold War 2.0? We do know that from a gameplay perspective, things arguably have gotten better. It really depends. It's a matter of opinion, obviously. But from my perspective, movement being better sounds like a positive change. Like when I go from a game like X Defiant back to Modern Warfare 3, I, I can't tell you guys. Like, please, somebody back me up in the comments if you guys have noticed the exact same thing. Like going from X Defiant to Modern Warfare 3, COD feels slow. It feels clunky. It feels like I'm running in mud. Like I feel like I can't really move. You know, there's something about X Defiant that's like so fast and fluid. And it looks like we're going to be leaning more in that direction with Black Ops 6. And that seems like a positive change to me because I like being able to move around quickly within my Call of Duty games. Obviously, that can be taken too far when people are constantly jumping and sliding and movement takes much more precedent over other aspects of the gameplay. Obviously, that can be off-putting for a lot of people, but movement does seem like it's going to be a lot faster. So maybe that's going to be better. Maybe it's going to be worse. We're going to have to see. Obviously, score streaks being traditional score streaks is going to be good. Having prestige mode returning with rewards is going to be a fantastic addition. The weapons themselves, based on what we've seen so far, it looks like Gunsmith is being dumbed down a little bit more streamlined. That's possibly just because of the beta build. But maybe with this game, we're not going to have like 50,000 attachments to sort through and just have to Google all of our classes to figure out which rear grip we should be putting on our guns. You know, that seems more streamlined so far based on the beta. So overall, it seems like they've made some positive gameplay changes to Black Ops 6, kind of building off what Sledgehammer Games did with Modern Warfare 3. You know, they took Modern Warfare 2, they kind of made it better. And in some cases, Black Ops 6 is taking what we saw in Modern Warfare 3 and Cold War and making those better. Obviously, better is subjective here. Some people don't like certain changes or whatever, but it seems like they're making a couple of tweaks and changes and the gameplay does look interesting. It looks more fast, looks more fluid, looks more engaging almost as compared to what we've seen in recent years. So I'm excited to see what it's going to be like when I actually have my hands on it. Who knows? I might freaking hate it. I have no idea. We're gonna have to wait and see, but it's interesting right now. The community seems kind of mixed right now on Black Ops 6, which I think I'm gonna end off the video with that. The community seems torn. Some people just can't wait to play the game. I think most of us just want to play the game so we can decide for ourselves as compared to just watching gameplay. But some people say, you know, it's just Black Ops Cold War with a new coat of paint. Some people are saying it's not even a Treyarch game. It's just a modern warfare game with like a Treyarch sticker slapped on top of it. You know, like I can see that perspective as well. So ultimately, it's going to come down to what we talked about there at the very beginning of the video where they give us the official reveal of the game, because I think a day or two after Call of Duty Next is when we're going to get the Black Ops 6 beta. And then from there, we can actually decide for ourselves. If I were on the marketing team over there at Activision or Call of Duty or whatever, I would stop striking down the gameplay because for crying out loud, like I understand they have to protect their copyright. If they're not actively protecting their copyright, they could end up losing it. But start putting out stuff. You know, people have already seen a lot of the footage, right? And right now, the leakers and the people with jailbroken consoles and stuff, they are controlling the narrative of COD. COD is kind of just like sitting back right now being like, oh, whatever, don't post that, don't show that or whatever. People have seen it. People are going to search it out. We're going to find it. You know, that's how that goes, right? The stuff is out there to be found. So why not start showing some of it yourselves? Obviously, they have like a big presentation, a big reveal. They're planning for Call of Duty next and all that nonsense. But in the meantime, leading up to that. You don't have to give us the full presentation or nothing, but start teasing some stuff. Start talking about how create class is going to work. Start talking about some of the new gameplay features, like being able to take an enemy player and use them as a hostage, and then pull out a pistol and start shooting at people. Like, that's a really interesting mechanic, honestly, especially for a Call of Duty games multiplayer. You know, start talking about some of that stuff. Like, start talking about the score streaks and how powerful they're going to be. Maybe start talking about spawn protection and whether or not chopper gunners are going to be useless or if they're going to be really good overall. Like, there's a lot they could talk about, but again, right now, they're kind of just letting the leak and the data miners control the narrative while they go through and try to copyright strike every single video on the internet. It's a weird approach, honestly. Just start showing stuff. It makes sense. Like, market your game instead of having the community do the marketing for you. But guys, I'm going to wrap up the video with this. Are you excited for Black Ops 6? What do you think of the gameplay leaks that you've seen so far? Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. Thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.